we've got a little game here, <clears throat> a little word game. I know you've got some Aussie phrases for me, um, and I've got some English phrases for you. Now, there's some bits that you might be familiar with, and I might be familiar with, because I know we've lived in, mm. in, our, in each other's respective countries, but um, I think this might be a little harder than, than, than you might imagine. I've looked at the list just, uh, just now, and some of those words I don't know. <laughs> I should say, in Northumbrian water, we are present in the northeast, so up near Newcastle. Uh, I don't know if you've ever ventured up there. So and we, and we're present in Suffolk and Essex, right? Which So we're down on, on the border of London <clears throat> in, in a place like Barking. So um, so there's some, a bit of rhyming slang in there, but there's also some northeastern phrases, which I have to say, my colleagues are going to kill me for, for trying to say them. But uh, anyway, I'll have a go. I'll do my best northeast accent, which is really not very good. But anyway, so how does that sound? Yeah, really good. I hope you've got some easy ones in there. Uh, particularly the northerners, uh, sometimes harder to. <laughs> yeah. With a uh, with a thick northern accent, I'm, I'm hoping to hear your best thick northern accent. I'll have a go. And some I'll of the go. Aussie the, ones. The, yeah, the first one is 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 from the northeast. Okay, and it is uh, why I man. I thought we were going to start with an easy one to. No. <laughs> is it, are you sure? Sure, that's even a even it, it a place. Can you I say mean, that again? It, why I man? And I've, I've you why? know, that's my best northeastern accent. Why it am I here? Why I man? I've got no idea. Why am I here? I, <laughs> I mean, it's a very complicated way of saying yes. Right. There, there are, I mean, we have a, a one-syllable version of that in the English language, which never made it to the northeast, and I don't know, I don't know why. But uh, why I man is, uh, is is basically the one to go. Yeah. Okay. So well, nil point, nil point for you and on the first question. But anyway, I'll, I'll well, keep you scored by the way. So there will be a. I've got a small prize for the winner as well. <laughs> uh, bring it on and. Uh, I'm going to put my best ochre accent on, and I know you've lived in Australia as well a couple of times, so some of these might be familiar, but with my best ochre accent, hopefully I can throw you off a bit. So the first one we've got, um, you would typically hear this in a uh, rural or regional setting, but sometimes uh -huh. around the city, uh, no wackers. No wackers? No wackers. I'm going to guess that means no worries. Spot on. Really? <laughs> I'm very surprised I got that right, because I honestly haven't heard that phrase. No worries, you hear that all the time, don't you? In Australia. That's yep. a but, but uh, <laughs> OK. All right, the next one's rhyming slang. So you, you, you lived in London. This might be a little easier for you. But um, if someone was on the dog and bone, what would they, what would they be doing? Uh. That one I know, they'd be on the phone. Indeed, bang on, well done, sir. <laughs> uh, good, to, um, good to remember some of that rhyming slang. <laughs> Next one, um, I, I think this one's pretty easy, but I'm gonna set the expectation and hopefully throw you off the scent a bit. If uh, you heard a saying called whoop whoop, what would it whoop, mean? Whoop. I mean, for me, that would be like, woohoo. You know, like hmm. someone was just going, "Yeah, that's brilliant." So, if someone said you were at Whoop Whoop, or you're out, at Whoop Whoop. Mm. Oh, now you got me. Uh, so, I, if I, it's a place, you're saying it's a very well-known place in Australia, very well frequented. At, um, go if, if you're at Whoop Whoop, out Whoop Whoop. Would you be at the beach? Uh, possibly, but not quite. It's it, it's in the middle of nowhere, so it's just oh, a right. saying that you can say, look, um, going out walk walk. Good lord, <laughs> who knew? I've heard you could go walk about, right? Yeah, you could go walk about out walk walk. That's all right. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning, which I guess is the great thing about collaboration. Right. So the next one for you, Chris. Um, Fish and hook. Uh, 
I, I, <laughs> it sounds like a cook or a book, but I doesn't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say a. Uh, a, a book, but I have no idea. I, I've book, never okay. heard that before. In, <laughs> indeed, <laughs> totally, totally fake, right? Made up, so uh, it's, it has no meaning at all. So, should have remembered at the top when we were briefed. Some of these are are not real. So, there is a, a phrase in English which you are a bit of Cockney rhyming thing you might be familiar with. Is butcher's hook. Yeah. Um, which is to have a look which gets yeah, short to the butchers, right? Can I have a butchers yep. at that? And um, yeah, you probably heard that one, but uh, okay, over to you. So hopefully I can do my uh, fellow country people proud with this one. Australia. Australia. That's Australia, right? That's the, the Queen's English version of pronunciation for Australia. Right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I can, I can. It's a ringing. It's, it's. You're, you're. There's lots of memories coming flooding back. Actually, when you have to say, Happy Australia Day, mate. Not, not Happy Australia Day, but Happy Australia Day, mate. Happy Australia Day. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one's from the northeast again, and I'll give you a little bit of a clue. So it's, um, it's, it's an emotion, right? Because otherwise, I, I, I think you would honestly. I'd never heard of this, but if someone was was raggy, what would you guess they might be? Where would you get raggy? Would you get raggy at Wim Wembley? Uh, you might, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully not if you're watching England. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, raggy. I've got no idea. I'm going to stay um, uh, chuffed over the moon because it's how often do English win <laughs> 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 football these days? Ouch. Yeah. Well, you know, we were in the World Cup semi final three years ago. And in, <laughs> yeah, but, but, but you may make a fair point. It's the first major final for 55 years. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I was two when this last happened. And um, yeah, I don't remember that very well either, I have to say. So. <laughs> Yes, uh, but no, 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 Raji means to get angry. Wow, okay. I've, yeah. Haven't heard that one before. No, it was new to me going to the, the Northeast. I hadn't heard it before either. So, <laughs> so this one, you, you mentioned uh, 55 years ago. I, I don't think there are many, um, even 30, 40, 50 plus year olds that use this word as a Aussie slang. But if, if you had a lappy, what, what, what would you have? A lappy? A lappy. You are carrying your lappy. A laptop. <laughs> oh, uh, just just to uh, uh, I'm three one in the lead here, basically at the moment, right? So it's sort of sudden death for you now, Chris. I think. Oh, well, and these phrases aren't really getting. I, I feel like the playing field has been tilted slightly in my favour, but um, <laughs> with, the, with the question. But anyway. I didn't put, I didn't write the questions. So I, what can I say? So the next one is a phrase. I'm just wondering if you know what this phrase means. Crinkle of a wrinkle. So would you have a crinkle of a wrinkle, or would you get a crinkle of a wrinkle? How how what do you? Well, that's a good question. Let me see. After I start with that it's a crinkle of a wrinkle. But I think you would. You would have one, you might get one. I mean, both possible. It's not, it, it can't be Cockney slang. It's... I don't, I'm going to say, I reckon that one's made up again. It <laughs> is made up. Bang on. Oh, well spot. And do you know what? I'm making up the points here. I'm going to give you two for that as well, the guessing that it was made up. Because, uh, yeah, totally made up. Well done. <laughs> and we're, we're back level. Well, this one's a um, crowd favourite. So, if you had a punch it, what would you do? What would it be? A punch it. Punch it. 
Not a punch up, but a punch no. up. <laughs> that, well, that doesn't happen at Wembley anymore, but, but a few years back in my um, I'm going to guess that that's made up. Spot on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're very good at uh, bluffing, though. I was not, I was not sure. Not, not, uh, not at all. Okay, we're on to the last one. So this last phrase, and I, I have to say, I, I'm, I just, uh, I've not heard this, but it is real, right? I'll take away that, that, that possibility. Bait. Oh, um, got me some. I, I can't say I've, I've heard of it. it and these these are just limited to English ones. They're not Scottish ones or anything like that. <laughs> Bait. Um, oh, maybe it's a little, like bit a, of a, a little bit of a clue. So think think about a bait is obviously food for fish, right? So think yeah. along those lines. So. Food for fish. I mean, it's it's got nothing to do with fishing in the, in this application, yep. but um... something you'd have before a meal. I don't know. You're in the you're you're getting warmer. Absolutely, it's a specific type of meal, if you like. What do you call, like a entree? It's a packed lunch. And I didn't know that. Packed lunch, wow. Packed lunch, yeah. Wow, <laughs> wow. Uh, I feel like these ones have definitely got the raw end of the stick. You, 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 <laughs> these ones, but, uh, <laughs> I'm going to give you one last one, Nigel, and um, uh, Huru. A pardon again? Huru. 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 Is that is that outback? Is that the outback? Well, you, you could say it in the outback, but um, what you'd be saying is just goodbye, basically. Huru. Huru. Really? See you later. Huru. Good heavens. Is that a common phrase? Yeah, I'd, I'd use it every now and then. Huru. Really? Okay. So even in Sydney and Melbourne, places like that, you might hear. Yeah. Right. Okay. Absolutely, but I haven't heard anyone say bait before. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the sort of thing I'd want to have in my back lunch, I have to say. So, um, well, uh, totting up the scores, mate, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but there's another victory for England. 5-3 this time, so a little bit more exciting than the match. But, um, yeah. And well done. I was sort of thinking, well, there should be a prize, right? And um, I'm in a little hotel room at the moment. This is the only thing. This is the closest thing to an urn that I could find. <laughs> it's a vase, and I. Well, truth be told, I'd have to steal it, wouldn't I? So um, probably I probably won't. Uh, but what what I might do is just um, see if I can find something a bit like this, and and perhaps it can be the thing that uh, can ping between our respective companies as uh, as we have little fun competitions along the way. How does that sound? I think that's great idea and well done uh, congratulations i'm hoping there's not too many actually i'm hoping there's a lot of slang between um between the event but i'm hoping there's not too many made up ones thrown in along the way <laughs> no we'll, we can avoid that but um i hopefully there, you know there will be a lot of banter and a lot of exchange of ideas and i, I think like i said it's just really exciting to us that uh, we're joining forces with you on this event mm -hmm. so thank you again Likewise, and, and really exciting that we're able to join forces with you. To, to be able to mention before, uh, partner with somebody on the other side of the globe, uh, somebody who has such a strong reputation for all things innovation, and uh, we're really excited to see where we can take this together.